Alright guys, so we're going to try something new. Uh, I haven't done something like this before, so we'll just give it a shot. But basically this is a tutorial to uh, do something like the, my previous video. Uh, this guy that I uploaded yesterday. And with this video, you can really see that it's, it's fairly simple. All you got is some scaling of videos. You kind of mix that with some nice music, maybe a white background, and play around with the different scaling of each uh, to time it right, and you can get some cool uh, cinematic effects, or uh, as I like to refer to it, some new school kind of uh, Instagram type effects. Now, this effect is actually inspired by an uh, Instagrammer by the name of Alex, and you can find his handle right here. So shout out to you, Alex. Uh, he inspired me to do this with this post right here. And you can see, again, he's doing very similar things, timing it with the music, with uh, several different videos scaling in and out uh, through his playback. So I am going to show you how to do that today in a blank project. So I am using Final Cut Pro, the version I am using is 10.4.6 uh it should work for anyone in fact you should probably be able to do it in even um imovie and we'll get started right now so <clears throat> first thing you're going to need is just a solid white background right and this gives you that um nice sort of uh um art gallery type effect uh you see a lot of instagram profiles utilizing this uh so we're going to do this for video as well so let's start off, let's choose a video clip. Um, I have a bunch of drone shots and time lapses here. Uh, we'll just start off with something very simple. Drag this guy in. This is shot in Oregon, uh, up at Rowona Crest. And you can see I got a nice sort of zoom out rotation going on here. We'll go ahead and drag this in. And we are just going to use uh, pretty much that bit right there. All right. So once you have your file in your timeline and uh, you can play around with it however you want, we're going to click on this guy right here to scale it down. And this is going to give it the white background that you need. Now, the white background, uh, we need to make sure fills the screen. So we're going to scale it up as well. That way, when we play it back now, you can see just playing it by itself, it adds this very uh, art gallery type feel to it. So now let's go ahead and do something more unique with it. And we are going to, you see how it's zooming out? So to contrast that, we're going to have the video size scale down as the drone pans out like this. So to do this, we're going to go into this guy right here. And we're going to take a look at the transform tool. So with our clip highlighted, we can head over here and look at the transform tool. And you can see that it's set to 84.2% scale, which is what we did to get this white background here. Now, what we're going to do is click on this keyframe button and you'll see it highlight all X and Y axis. And what we're going to do is now pan all the way to the end of our clip. Okay. And we're going to add a keyframe and we're going to go ahead and scale it down. And you can play around with this, right? In terms of how much you want it to scale. You know what? I'm going to scale it down to 10%. So now, when we play it back, the video should scale down accordingly as um, the clip itself plays. So that's pretty simple, right? You know, nothing too advanced with it, just a keyframe. Well, you can add some unique things to this. So we're just going to go ahead and add a dolly zoom to this as it zooms out. And how you can do this is you go into the crop tool, go to Ken Burns, and what we're gonna do is reverse that. Right. And now when it plays, it should be dynamically zooming out 
as the video scales down in size, which should give it an interesting effect. You can play around with it, you know, reverse your chem burns however you want, um, try it out and see what cool stuff you can do with it. Now, in the Instagram profile of Alex, you saw that you had multiple videos kind of scaling in and out together. And one of the neat things that you can do with this is play around with um, the borders of each clip. So for example, I just went back one frame here and we're gonna go ahead and scale this down because I want kind of a fast scale. So now if you play it back, it should scale a lot faster. Uh, I want it faster than this. So let's go ahead and scale it down to like zero. All right, so now <clears throat> we got a decent clip uh, in terms of speed. Now let's go ahead and add in a second clip here. And we want this rotation, but we want it to kind of scale in with the video, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and scale this guy down with our crop tool. Um, right here, crop, and crop, and go, oops, sorry, it should be the transform tool, I don't know what I'm talking about here. Alright, <clears throat> so we'll start this video small, alright, and we'll bring it over to this side, and we want to maintain sort of this white border, so we want it to scale exactly the same as the other guy, but maintain that size. So what we're going to do is, same thing, add a keyframe to this file, go all the way to the end, cut back one frame, two frames, let's see where it is, because I can barely see it there. We might need to zoom in a little bit. Um, all right. So we want to maintain that white distance. So what we're going to do is again, add a keyframe to this guy right here. Now we're gonna scale it up until it's about the same distance. All right, now let's play it back and take a look. Now you can see right here, it's kind of scaling in the same, maintaining that distance as it's scaling, so it doesn't look very weird. And there you go. Now you can play around with it, throw in a bunch of clips, overlap them together, play with the rotations, the style of clip itself, and see what you get with it. Um, and again, shout out to Alex for inspiring me to do this. Uh, so go follow him on Instagram. I'll put a link in the description below. If you guys like these type of videos, please like and subscribe, comment, and I'll try to make more of these in the future. Thank you guys for following. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.